All right, Keith, so we're out here, we're working with a rancher that has a real problem. That's right. Uh, he's got a, a, a boundary fence here and has a bull that keeps jumping over the fence. So we're coming out, we're gonna to try to help him today. We're gonna to, uh, add on to his fence some. Would you like to explain how we're gonna help him out? Yeah, it's breeding season here in Northeast Wyoming and the bull keeps uh, changing pastures on him. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Cattleman Pro barbed wire that we have set up here and we're gonna add height to this fence and stop that situation, or yep. try to stop it. Exactly, that's the great thing about this cattleman. It's one of the strongest barbed wires on the market. That's right. So if that bull comes over and wants to ride or lean on that fence, you're gonna add a lot of strength with that height to help keep that bull in the fence and, and where he belongs. Man, there's a lot of uh, 12 and a half gauge low carbon two point out here. Yep. And uh, you know, it's done its job, it's ran its time. Replacement is not an option right now for this rancher, but we can add some height to it, run a couple strands up there, build it up, and help him with this. So now, Van and I are gonna roll this out. We've got a little homemade unwinder here that goes in the back of the uh, side-by-side, -side, goes in the receiver hitch, and we'll just run this out. We'll tension this fence and start building it up for you guys. All right, Keith, so we've got this fence up to tension. Yep. We're ready to terminate here. We'll get it terminated and then start the trim out process. Yep. We've got good tension on the fence, Van. Yep. We definitely, if he if he wants, if that bull wants to walk up here and he wants to try to ride this fence down, he's gonna get a barb, I think. Yep, and I think we've added six to eight inches on most yep. of this fence, so. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be the last step. If he continues to be a problem child, we're gonna have to talk about building a new fence, I think. Yep. I just and don't you can, know that old 12 and a half yeah. gauge is getting it done. Well, you can look at it, it's probably older than me and you combined. So it's hard to complain with what it's done, but there's always an end life for yep. advance and there's time to update. I think here we may have uh, 2023 meets 1923. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I'll All get right. this terminated, man. We're just gonna use a, uh, a double wrap system here. Man, we actually have a high tensile video on our website already, so. Yes, we do people can definitely go look at that. And while you're working on it, on our website, we've got a lot of how-to videos for different styles of fence, as well as um, Ask the Fence Pros. So if you start a project, you run into a trouble area, or maybe you're planning a project, sure. not knowing what fence you need for your type of livestock or exclusion, you can go on Ask the Fence Pros and get a response back from at fencing.beckart.com. Right. So. A lot of wind out here in Wyoming. So what I've done is uh, the double wrap system seems yep. to work out here really good. A lot of vibration in this fence. Double wrap, lazy tie, and should be here for quite some time when I look at this fence and think how long it might have been here. Absolutely. Especially with this bezanol coating. So it's a- Oh, absolutely. The longest lasting coating available in fences, so. So I've got it. I'll just uh, drop this slack back in. The old posts want to creak a little, Van, yep. when you put that kind of tension on them. Yep. Van, I think this fence is probably coming to the end of its life, but we've helped this rancher the best we can. Uh, we've got this up higher 
his problem child may have trouble going through it now, but the, every fence comes to the end of its life. It does, and this will give him a little more life out of this fence so he can budget next year or later this season and be ready to make it. And we are coming into hay season, so he's gonna right. have time constraints as well. Sure. So Absolutely. we have bought this producer some time. All right. So. Guys, we're gonna trim this fence out. We're gonna use the new Delfast staple gun. Got some old posts here. Uh, we've got some T-post clips ready to go. This is actually some odd sized T-post, man. I, I really haven't seen this style before. They may be from 1923 too. Uh, that so. could be true. That could be true. Thanks guys, check us out on fencing.beckart.com. Uh, hit the Ask the Fence Pro. Van and I'll be help, happy to help you through any projects that you have. But uh, we're gonna get trimming this out and I think we've came to the end of the day here, Van. Absolutely, remember guys, for all your fencing needs, Vincent.beckart.com. Remember Beckart, made in the USA. Thanks, guys.